10 styles that are trending on mid journey and are absolutely mind blowing. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today I have something really beautiful for you. And I also provide a Google Doc where you have all of these prompts with the prompt commands in there. So you can copy them over right away to your mid journey. You can analyze them, you can try them out on stable diffusion. Also, don't forget to join my live stream tomorrow where we are going to review your works from mid journey, stable diffusion, or any other AI. I. Let's kick all this off with this beautiful cat. As you know, I love cats. I have my little fur ball right here with me. And this image is really, really beautiful. Shout out to Fox Leo who has created this specific render here with a rather complex long prompt. Really interesting to look into that to analyze the different words. There's a lot of stuff in here like monovision that I've never heard before, but it seems to work really great. And one thing that I don't understand quite is why the cat is captured from the side, which happens often with this prompt and looks so beautiful. The next image is by Fotis and this is a double exposure kind of image. And what I'm seeing right now in Mitchell is a trend to have organic elements in there, flowers, plants, roots, all these beautiful elements in this case, combined with the portrait of a woman in pink and violet, really, really amazing, really love this expression, but also how playful and soft this is. The prompt here is a bit shorter, but we have some very interesting terms in here, like for example, flower punk, flaming violets, dark beauty, and flowery forest. Really love that. Next, we have these vintage style photos, which I love not just because they look from the color and expressiveness like vintage paper photos, but also because the style of the haircut, the person, the clothing, uh, the way this is photographed, everything comes together in a very expressive and vintage way. Absolutely love this. This is from XX Sula XX. And when we look here at the prompt, we have some really interesting details in here. For example, a 1960s biker girl, we have the Eastman Kodak color negative film 52-51-50T. We have Panavision in here. And also up here, the interesting combination of film, grain, scratches, dirt and imperfections to get that analog style in there. Really creative prompt. Next, we have something that I would call superhero memes. They are really funny. I love this overweight fat Batman sitting in his little pool enjoying his day. Everything about that is so cute and funny. And I also really enjoy this playful style of the image. Shout out to Mihal for this funny image. And I've got to say, when I keep up with the chicken wings, this guy and me, we're going to be twin brothers. Next, we have these really cool sneaker designs. There are several on Mid Journey. They look amazing. I love how this is photographed as an ad, as a product presentation. And they seem to be a little bit inspired by the Yeezys, but there is no wording in the prompt for that. Shout out to William Wagen for this really cool sneaker design. We have a rather short prompt here. It doesn't say anything about Yeezys, but when we look at it, it says white and pink futuristic running shoes and then inspired by a fantastical forest. And I love how Mid Journey brings out these really interesting elements. And when you think about it, it has a little bit of mushroom in there. So that's pretty cool. And personally, I think this is going to be a big part of how we're going to design products and fashion in the future together with an AI. Love this. Next, we have these amazing sci-fi portraits. This one is actually also combined out of two images that have been created by Mid Journey and the prompt. So check out the Google document to learn more about that because smashing images together is a really interesting technique. If you want, I make a video about that. Let me know in the comments. Shout out to Dio Neano who has created this image with a long and really interesting prompt. So we have here the gorgeous futuristic cyberpunk. And I really like that it says here intricate haute couture. And at the end it says editorial portrait. 
So it is absolutely worth it analyzing these prompts and play around with them. What I would suggest to you is to delete some words of the prompt and see what you get or use different words instead of what is written here to see how the output is changing because that teaches you a lot on how to use Midjourney effectively. Next, we have another style I have already shown you as a paper cut, but this goes a level deeper. It's the multi-dimensional paper cut and look how beautiful that is. I think it wouldn't even be possible to do something that intricate with actual paper, but the result is just mind blowing. Shout out to Suspect Chessy. And I love that the prompt here is rather short and at the same time very much to the point. Our next style here is something I personally really enjoy. It's these intricate ornamented portraits of female superheroes. I like the expressiveness of this. I like the playfulness. And at the same time, it has this kind of illustration style, but you can see that it also has 3D elements. And I can't wait to have 3D models in AI to print this as a resin print and have it on the wall. This is just too beautiful. Next, we have these amazing futuristic apocalyptic soldiers and units. Love the style and the expressiveness. And of course, who doesn't love apocalyptic movies and scenes? Shout out to 187 designs. And when we look at the prompt, he says a stunning interpretation. I find that very interesting. And then he defines the scene as golden ratio, glow, ominous, haunting, cinematic, which I also really like. Very interesting combination of all these terms. And as you can see, it comes together really beautifully. Here is another one of these organic styles I enjoy so much right now with all of these elements of mushrooms, a little bit of crustacean in there of underwater world, but then also flowers. So everything comes together in this beautiful expression. And for some reason, it just works so well. Shout out to Monikuchi32 who has created this render. It starts out as photography by Marcin Nagraba. I absolutely have to check out that artist. And as you can see here, it says ornate mushroom crown. Really cool. Holding moss and large moth. And then at the end, it says details and composition by Rebecca Millen. I have absolutely to check her out too. And last but not least, we have this retro wave style. I absolutely love this. If you want to also go on YouTube, check out Retro Synth. You might really enjoy that music. Shout out to Rocket Boy for this really cool dog design with the sunglasses. And I want to invite you to try this style on all kinds of different subjects, especially with animal portraits. This can be super expressive and so much fun. Let me know in the comments what you think about these styles. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.